Greetings dear viewers, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a story that has captivated the world, the recent visit of Harry and Meghan to Colombia. This royal tour sparked a media frenzy back in the UK, with tabloids and the royal establishment attempting to undermine the Sussexes' success. So, if you're intrigued by the intersection of royalty, media and global diplomacy, make sure to subscribe for more insightful content. Stay with us as we delve deeper into the media frenzy surrounding this royal visit. When Harry and Meghan landed in Colombia, they were met with a wave of enthusiasm and warmth. The couple's visit, far from their former royal stomping grounds, was a breath of fresh air that electrified the South American nation. In a whirlwind tour, Harry and Meghan threw themselves into a variety of activities and initiatives, from engaging with local communities to championing environmental sustainability the duo left no stone unturned. They visited schools, healthcare facilities and indigenous communities showcasing a genuine interest in understanding the challenges and triumphs of the Colombian people. Their visit was not just about handshakes and photo ops. The Sussexes used their platform to raise awareness for causes close to their hearts. They championed the fight against climate change, promoted gender equality and advocated for mental health awareness. Their commitment to these causes was palpable, and the Colombian people responded with appreciation and admiration. And the response was not just limited to Colombia. The world watched as Harry and Meghan navigated their visit with grace, compassion and charisma. Social media was awash with images and stories of their interactions with the locals, their speeches and their dedication to making a difference. The couple's ability to connect with people on a personal level, their willingness to listen, and their passion for change was a refreshing contrast to the often stiff and formal image of royalty. Yet, the visit was not without its detractors. Back in the UK, the media attempted to cast a shadow over the successful tour. The press spun stories, questioning the couple's motives and undermining the impact of their visit. But these attempts only served to underscore the changing dynamics of the royal establishment. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's connection with the public was apparent, and seemingly threatened the established royal order. Their visit to Colombia was not just a trip, it was a statement. A statement that they are not bound by the traditional constraints of royalty, but driven by a desire to connect, to understand, and to make a difference in the world. Back home, the UK press and royal family watched the successful tour unfold with apparent unease. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex had touched down in Colombia, and the reception they received was nothing short of phenomenal. Yet back in the UK, there was a distinct effort to spin a different narrative. The British media, in their usual fashion, attempted to undermine the tour's success. The accusations were fierce and plentiful. From questioning the couple's intentions to spreading false narratives about their interactions with the locals, the tabloids were relentless. They painted an image of a royal couple seeking to exploit their status for personal gain, rather than genuinely connecting with the Colombian people. But the question is, why? Why did the UK press feel the need to cast doubt on Harry and Meghan's motives? The answer lies in the couple's growing popularity and the threat it poses to the traditional royal establishment. Harry and Meghan are a breath of fresh air, a direct contrast to the stuffy, predictable royal image. They are connecting with people on a global scale, championing causes that the monarchy has often shied away from. This has rattled the royal establishment, and the media's attempts to undermine the Sussexes only further highlight this discomfort. It is clear that the British media and the royal family are threatened by the couple's ability to forge their own path. The Sussexes' independent mindset and commitment to their causes have rendered the royal establishment insecure. Instead of celebrating the success of the tour, they have chosen to engage in a petty and destructive narrative. The tactics employed by the UK press and the royal family are nothing new. They have long been known for their attempts to control the narrative and maintain the status quo, but this time, their efforts have only served to expose their own insecurities. The world watched as Harry and Meghan were embraced by the Colombian people, and the UK media's attempts to tarnish this could not change the reality. The tactics employed by the UK press only serve to highlight their own insecurities. Despite the negativity, Harry and Meghan's impact was undeniable. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are a breath of fresh air, a vibrant contrast to the staid and static royal establishment. 
Their charisma, charm and genuine dedication to public service have captivated audiences around the world, and their recent visit to Colombia was no exception. Harry and Meghan have a unique ability to connect with people, to really listen to their stories and empathise with their struggles. This is a rare quality, especially in a world where many public figures seem more interested in photo ops and sound bites than in genuine human connection. But Harry and Meghan are different. They have a sincere desire to use their platform to uplift others, to champion causes that are often ignored or overlooked by the mainstream. In Colombia, they use their visit to shine a light on important issues like climate change, social inequality, and the rights of indigenous peoples. They didn't just show up and smile for the cameras, they got their hands dirty, they engaged with the local community, and they made a real effort to understand and address the challenges facing the country. This is the kind of active, engaged royalty that the world needs more of, and it's a stark contrast to the traditional passive role of the monarchy. But of course, this kind of bold, progressive approach is threatening to the royal establishment. They're used to a monarchy that's more about pomp and ceremony than about real, meaningful change. They're comfortable with a royal family that stays within the lines, that plays by the rules, that doesn't rock the boat. But Harry and Meghan aren't interested in playing it safe. They're not afraid to challenge the status quo, to push boundaries, to stand up for what they believe in. And that's what makes them so powerful and so threatening to the old guard. The Sussexes' independent path is not just a challenge to the royal family, it's a challenge to the entire system of monarchy. It's a challenge to the idea that royals should be seen and not heard, that they should stick to tradition and avoid controversy. Harry and Meghan are showing the world that royalty can be more than just a symbol, more than just a relic of the past. They're showing that royalty can be a force for change, a platform for advocacy, a catalyst for progress, and that's why their impact is so profound and so undeniable. They're not just changing the way we see the royals, they're changing the way we see the world, and no amount of negativity or backlash can diminish that. The Sussexes' independent path is increasingly threatening to the stale, outdated royal family. Despite the attempts to diminish their accomplishments, Harry and Meghan's success was apparent. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's visit to Colombia was met with a warm welcome and genuine enthusiasm, a testament to their ability to connect with people across the globe. This warmth, this genuine connection, is a force that the stale, outdated royal establishment can only dream of recapturing. While the UK media may have been quick to undermine the success of the tour, their efforts only serve to highlight the pettiness and insecurity of the royal establishment. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex, however, have shown an ability to rise above such tactics, carrying themselves with grace and dignity, and focusing their efforts on championing causes that matter. Their resilience in the face of adversity, their unwavering commitment to their cause, and their ability to connect with people on a personal level have won them the adoration of the public, both in the UK and across the world. And what does this mean for the future of the royal establishment? It sends a clear message that the Sussexes are not just another pair of royal figures, bound by the constraints of the monarchy. They are independent, they are influential, and they are shaping their own path. Their ability to draw global attention to issues beyond the royal scope is a testament to their power and influence. This is a new kind of royalty, one that is not afraid to challenge the status quo and break free from the confines of tradition. The success of Harry and Meghan's independent path raises questions about the future of the royal establishment. Will they embrace this new kind of royalty? Or will they continue to resist change, clinging onto outdated traditions and norms? Only time will tell. However, one thing is clear. Harry and Meghan have proven that they are more than just royal figures. They are catalysts for change, champions for causes, and most importantly, they are a testament to the power of genuine connection with the public. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Harry and Meghan's Colombian visit. It's been a pleasure to delve into the intricacies of their journey, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our content. Until next time, goodbye.